Well, good morning. Good morning. It's Thursday. How y'all be? It is straight up 70 already. It's beyond that now, but it was 70 at 7 a.m. So welcome to the ATL. I also have a parking lot full of, it looks like maybe a youth event or something today. So super exciting. You know, there is a lot on my mind, a ton to talk about, but I actually want to talk to you. That's right, you. What is on your radar for what you want to do? What are some dreams that you have? What are some goals that you have? Now, I have touched on this a couple times, but what I want to say is most people have the dreams, but they don't have the do. Most people uh, can write down the things or envision the things, but the follow through, non-existent. Most people want to join me in business and they, they want what I have and they want to get what I've got, but they have zero execution and long game. Zero. Friends, listen, I know I've told y'all, listen, I'm 40, okay? But I think this is what I am going into the final 60 years of my life with. I'm going to have some serious filters on. What do I mean by that? Well, first of all, I don't know how to use filters on this thing. What you see is what you get. Um, this is me. Yes, I have a little bit of makeup on, but that's about the only filter you're going to get. What I mean by filters is my, the first half of my life, or the first, how about third of my life, <laughs> um, I just took people for what they said. Because I'm a person who says what I mean, I mean what I say. And when I say something, I actually do it, okay? What I've learned in my life is that is not the majority of people. The majority of people speak, um, but they don't do. The majority of people want, but there's no follow through. And so the filters that I am so excited to apply allows for me to know what I'm working with or not as well as allows for me to have accurate expectations. Because here's what I want you to grasp today. See, a lot of the times we just say yes to everything because we think that other opportunities won't present themselves. That is the wrong mindset to have, okay? Your yes is powerful and your no is just as powerful. I found myself thinking a day or two ago, good night, life is just so busy. But you know, I don't actually like to think of my life as busy. I like to think of it as full. Because busy is often an excuse that so many use so that they cannot do what they're supposed to do. Instead, I wanna look at my plate and say it's full. And I wanna start to examine what I have on my plate that first of all, he never asked me to put on my plate. And second of all, is not serving my current season and what I'm called to do. See, if you are a person who can stay aware of yourself, you can stay present in your day. I'm telling y'all, you will be the top 1%. You will be the top 1% because most of society, most of the culture has gone gone just become complacent. They uh, just go through the motions. Their life is busy just to be busy or boring because they're boring instead of alive, thriving, dreaming, going after saying no to what is not for you does not serve you or your call. Again, I'm not trying to make this a self-centered thing. Okay. This can very much be servant minded, very much so. But again, when you have filters on your life, when you allow for people to reveal what they truly want, what they truly desire, and how they will follow through, it will allow for you to say, ooh, yes, great partnership, or they are gonna find themselves another person because I actually have some really strict, um, I don't wanna say guidelines, but you know, parameters. I'm gonna leave you with this if you got this far. You're somebody who, honest to goodness, has something inside of you. If you have gotten this far, I promise you that. My man 
and I will toot his horn all day long, but I am telling you, he not only is incredible when it comes to, you know, the crypto space, fabulous insight, but he is somebody who you can jump on a call with him. I love, and I don't even get on his calls because, you know, I'm taking care of the kids, but I love to just get a glimpse into the calls that he has. He brought somebody so much clarity the other day. They were just like, oh my goodness. Like, I'm telling you, 30 minutes with that man, worth its weight in gold. I heard him on another call, and he was spurring that person on to such greatness, allowing for accountability to actually be present. Okay, these are two things that you and I need in our lives. We need clarity so that we can go hard after our calling and our purpose. And we need accountability so that we can actually get out there and get it done. And guess what? Those are two things that people will not search after the majority of people. Again, if you have made it this far, believe you me, you are something special. You are the top 1%. And then the last thing that people will not seek after, and I'm actually getting to meet with mine today. I meet with a woman who I'm like, listen, I want you to know my heart posture and I want you to know my thoughts and everything about me so that you can mentor me onto greatness and so that you can make me aware of any blind spots that I have. Because friends, if you allow for yourself to sit under somebody who can speak truly into the real, the realness of you, and by the way, not everybody has earned that spot, amen? Because not everybody gets to just yep, 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 yep. But when you allow for yourself to get under a mentor who is bound and determined to know the greatness in you, speak to the heart posture of you, but also that you open up to, you know what? If you see weaknesses in me, if you see a blind spot I cannot see, please tell me, call me out, call me up. Because clarity is necessary. Accountability is a must. And a mentor that can speak to you gets to know your heart, gets to know how you're wired, and calls you up accordingly. Whoo, friends, I'm telling you, if you want those three things, you will be in the top 1% because most people won't give it the time of day, won't give it the time, the space, or not even five minutes on their calendar. And that's just truth.